Hey everyone, just giving you guys a quick progress update on the new version of my minecart rapid transit station. In this version, I'm of course making use of the new powered and detector rails in the latest Minecraft 1.5 beta update. What this means is that this station doesn't use any of the old style glitch boosters, it also doesn't use any door boosters or pez dispensers at all. Another thing to note that in this version I've decided to base the station heavily on two design ideas that have already been posted by some other more innovative people on YouTube. For example, this uh, Rivals and Departures system over here is heavily based on a video posted by Amorph Affair, while the cart storage system down here is a dispenser design posted by a guy named Deltra. In any case, I don't think these two folks have been getting the attention they deserve with their brilliant design ideas, so before you continue with my video, I highly recommend you go watch their videos first and send them all your likes, comments, and upvotes in their direction. I posted links to their videos in the annotations you see on your screen, and the links are also posted in this video's description. Alright, so let's get started. If I'm first walking into the station and want to board a cart, I first want to check if the dispenser has a cart available for me. We can check the status of the dispenser by looking at these two redstone torches here. It's pretty straightforward to read. This left one here will be lit if the dispenser is full of carts, and this right one here will be lit if the dispenser has no carts at all. So according to this, the dispenser appears to be empty, so what we need to do is uh, load up the, the dispenser by placing a cart in the slot here. I'll load it here, and we can uh, watch the cart as it goes into the dispenser down here. Now, for space considerations, I've arranged Deltra's dispenser into two rows. This far row over here uh, stores six carts, and this near row stores five carts in total. So for a total capacity of 11 carts. See there, the cart has stopped at the very end of the dispenser, ready to be dispensed. I'm going to uh, place a couple more carts here, just to show you it in action. Alright, so the next step is to request that cart to come way over here into this departure bay where we can board the cart. Uh, for this demonstration, to do this you just need to push this button, but for this case I'm going to push the button but not going to board the cart. I'm just going to show you what happens if you don't board the cart. This cart approaching indicator will light up, the cart will arrive there, it will wait 2-3 to three seconds and then depart automatically. Since the cart that just departed was unoccupied, the cart will uh, not go onto the main track, it'll go be fed back into the dispenser. Now, if I request another cart, and this time I'm going to board it, uh, because it's, I'm a, it's an unoccupied cart, I can, it'll basically get me onto the main track and onto the next station. Now, in this case, there is no next station. It's just going to, the track's going to wrap around itself. But here I can just show you how the arrival uh, system works. It's just like the departures. I just get out of the cart. The cart will uh, wait for two to three seconds and depart automatically itself. So that unoccupied cart that just departed is heading back into the dispenser here. Alright, so I'm going to cut the video right now and load up the dispenser to near full so I can show you what happens when the dispenser is full. Basically. All right, so we're back. I've loaded the dispenser up to ten carts. There's still one slot left, so I'm gonna plop a cart in here. And you see the dispenser full indicator is not lit right yet, but when it does, the cart gets there. You'll see the dispenser is now full. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if I load a twelfth cart into the dispenser. And you can probably imagine here. There's a switch right here. Um, if the cart dispenser is full, it'll switch any carts into this overflow track and up to this uh, section here. This, uh, and this is just for people to pick up the carts and put them into their inventory. This is a little bit better than the old cactus uh, way of dispensing, so at least the carts won't get destroyed. Um, Alright, so that's the, about it. I, all I really want to show you, um, as you can see, the station is not quite finished. Um, my, what my plans are, are twofold. Uh, first, this platform here you see, uh, what I plan to do is extend it across the top of this, this, uh, all this the dispenser and all this redstone here. So the, when people enter the station, it will be right around here. And you can probably put some benches or trees or some, some other things, maybe kiosks of some sort. That's what I'm planning. So, And uh, if you've ever seen my uh, the, uh, the older versions of my Minecart Rabbit Transit, this is just half of the station you see here. What I'm going to do is, once I finish this half, I'm going to copy that design on the other side, because this half only uh, services trains going in one direction. So I need another side on the other side to for trains going in the other direction. 
Uh, what else can I say here? Uh, the dis Delta Dispenser, I've also noticed there are a couple bugs. I'm not too sure what's causing it. Sometimes if I'm loading the dispenser, it'll get sometimes get stuck in the middle right, instead of going all the way to the end. Not sure what exactly is causing it. It could be the dispenser itself, or it could be just redstone bugs, so maybe I'll have to wait for Notch to fix that in maybe 1.6 beta. Um, also, I've in Delta's video, he also implemented a reset signal in case those sort of things happen, and I haven't done that yet in this version. Uh, I probably need to expand the station toward the far end over here so I can have enough space to put in that reset signal. And uh, what else can I say? Oh, uh, one last thing. There's a disadvantage of this station also. It's kind of unintuitive here, but to travel in this direction, I kind of need, for pass passengers need to actually face in the opposite direction to go, go in the cart. So this might be a bit confusing for some uh, people, but hopefully um, it's not going to be too big of a deal if I put the appropriate signage on the stations as well. Alright, so um, that's about it. I've oh, uh, One last thing, I posted the save file into the video description so you can go download that and play around with the station yourself. And um, yep, that's about it. Uh, you feel free to post any comments to this video and uh, thanks for watching.